vlog on my way out right now it's the 21st and I'm gonna probably meet up with some friends later I also need to go get a birthday present for my friends so I'll probably go to you guessed it I mean there's only two malls that I really go to probably Lotte World Mall just because it's pretty big and I think we're gonna be meeting somewhere near ish there so might as well just stay in the area it's actually not that cold today so I'm just gonna wear my long wool coat and then black top as well as some slacks aka my go-to outfit when I don't know what to wear and I just want to keep it simple you know a whole wine event here for the holidays I guess oh it's so pretty I forgot I'm vlogging today hi Medi happy hi, birthday thank you congratulations on turning 18 <laughs> 18 years young you're finally an adult or oh, not in Korea <laughs> cute oh they decorated it whoa it's cute I love all the Christmas decor Ooh. Hello! Hi! <laughs> this is so pretty! I know! I want to buy this for my apartment. Oh. I think I need to buy this for my apartment. It's very telling. Yes. I love buying these like random things that like are useless. Yeah! Oh my god! It seemed like you had a lot of fun at Copenhagen. I know. Oh yes! Ah, cute! Oh, this place is actually pretty big. Oh, Lush, watch out. Have you ever used a bath bomb? Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it would be kind of annoying to wash like your bathtub afterwards. Uh, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. It's I need to take out the music here. Copyright. <laughs> um, we're vlogging, can, can you just... Can you cut? You know, I love Taylor, but no. It's too expensive to put in my videos. Oh, they really sealed it. In case like, you regret it, yeah, just, you wanted it for yourself. Yeah, no. I hope you like it. Yeah, it's a body lotion. Okay, so I tried to get the hand cream, but apparently they don't have that one anymore. Oh. Not the original one. You like the original scent, right? Oh, give me some fish. Oh, yeah. You like the original scent, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, there's like a lot of different kinds now. There's like, it's like I, I think, did I tell you that I wanted, like, I was gonna buy like Chanel number no. 5? I think you did during like ice skating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I thought it smelled like grandma's before. Yeah, yeah. But, but then, yeah, you know, like, it actually smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells so it smells good. Like grandma's. I know. I think because I said, I was like, oh yeah, it smells like grandma. You're like, oh yeah, it usually does. But then you try to honor something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I saw like, that you went to Adder in uh, Paris. I was like, why does it seem so weird to see an Adder that's not in Korea? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so it was the Maison Kitsune like collaboration. Yeah. So it was like all over Maison Kitsune, but I, Adder like doesn't have a, a shop mm. in Paris. Mm. Yeah, it was just yeah. because of the collaboration. Mm. I love a language king. You were switching there. No, I knew like you spoke French. Yeah. But I never heard you speak French in a, over and over again to someone. And I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> I was like, maybe I should go learn French again. I don't know what you guys are saying. You should. Oh my god, I, my friend was like so annoyed, she was like, oh my god, like I didn't know vlogging took so much. She was you like, like blurred out your friends. Yeah. She, was like, like, she was like, it's it's better to just watch them. Yeah, there's a lot of work, you're like putting yeah. angles yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. Friend has arrived. Special limited edition. Shut it all sold out. It's literally, I, well, you know, because I can't, but it's number one on my wish list. Yeah, it is. This, this is what I want. What is it? Show the camera. Oh my gosh, Chanel number five. <laughs> Just open it. So we're fucking happy right now. Oh my god, now my body and my entire outfit yeah. is Yeah. Yeah. So that it would match. Oh, thank you guys. Yes, of course. <laughs> so I'm so heading over to the subway station now. We want to beat the rush. Also gonna get dinner, but probably somewhere closer to but Gangnam area. Yay, got the Izawa. This is Ben's first time trying it, right? I'm so excited. <laughs> 
Oh, well, the sheer fact that it is like 8 p.m. and I am ready to go to sleep just shows that I'm getting old. Just kidding. I think it also has to do with the fact that I got my booster. So I was pretty low energy today. I drank coffee, but that didn't seem to help. I was still pretty tired throughout the day. So I'm just going to go to sleep early today so that I can get like a full eight hours or nine or ten hours, however much I need. And I'll be well rested for the days to come. Hopefully, I'm back to normal tomorrow. In Itaewon right now, and I just left physical therapy. I'm going to go home now, but before then, I'm going to stop by the Olive Young because there's a specific product that I need to get, but... It's so loud. There's a specific product I need to get, but they don't have it in the Olive Young near my place, so I'm going to check out the Olive Young here since it's pretty big. After that, I actually have to go to my other PT session, aka not physical therapy, but personal training. Very exciting things. This is what happens when you're 25, your body starts aging. So the background's a mess, but I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm trying to get my life together, which is why I'm like cleaning my sheets and everything. I just came back from the gym. That's part of me trying to get my life together. And I got Subway for dinner because honestly, like I can't think of many options for like a somewhat healthy-ish dinner that I don't have to prepare myself. And also groceries are super expensive here and they take a lot of time to cook. This Subway sandwich was like 6,001, which is around like five bucks or like 550 in US dollars. So it's pretty inexpensive and it's pretty healthy too because all it is, is like chicken breast and like other healthy ingredients for the sides. What, what am I calling those sides? For the toppings. I had both my physical therapy and my personal training today. So it was a lot of like body movement and I'm super Super tired now. I have like a lot of. I'm gonna stop saying this actually, but I, I'll stop saying it after I say this one time. A lot of Korean homework to do because I'm always behind on Korean homework, but it's fine. This is like my last semester, anyways, and I want to do some editing of like clips that I've filmed beforehand. So I actually have two videos filmed. This is my thing. I can film videos super easily, especially like skincare videos and that kind of stuff. Like the filming part is the most fun for me. The editing part, it's like fun when you have a lot of time and you can like take your time editing and that kind of stuff. But when it comes to like a deadline or something, it's kind of stressful, you know? So I need to get started editing those. There's actually one that I want to post soon because you know, the year is almost over and I want it to be up. But I also know it's like a pretty important video and I want it to be edited nicely. So it's as information informational and somewhat aesthetically pleasing for you guys to watch and entertaining of course i'm actually watching korean love island right now i think i mentioned it yesterday and i think i'm gonna watch that while i eat because i only have one more episode to catch up to everything before the new episodes come out next week also i think emily in paris might have come out or is it tomorrow i'll need to check the sheer fact that i only have one more day of class left until my little christmas getaway i'm so excited i still need to do a couple of things to prepare for class tomorrow because we do have like this debate thing that we need to prepare for besides that i don't really have that much but today all i did was just chill at home i still felt a little bit tired from my booster not as bad as yesterday because it's like 11 p.m and i haven't slept yet whereas yesterday i slept at 8 p.m but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of unboxing for my YesStyle advent calendar as well as the package that I got in the mail today. <clears throat> today is the 22nd, so let's unbox everything to the 22nd. Let's do the 21st. Ooh, wow. You guys see that? I literally included this in my best of 2020 video. This is the Isn't She Real Mugwort clay mask. This clay mask along with the Axis Y one are my favorite clay masks. I find that with really dry skin like mine, clay masks are kind of a hit or miss. Usually they're a miss because they're too drying, but I really like the ones with mugwort and I, this one is really nice and creamy and gentle, but still works well. I love this one, but I think I do already have one open or at least another clay mask open. So I'll save this for like like maybe to give to someone else. The thing is that I would do more giveaways. Majority of my audience is still in the US, but right now because I'm not living in the US, it'd be super expensive for me to ship to a lot of countries. And because of the whole situation of the world, apparently shipping delays are even slower for international shipping. So sorry, I will be back in the US soon-ish. So I'll be doing a lot more giveaways when I'm back. And we have the 22nd here as well. Watch me struggle. 
Ooh, this is also really good too. Is this last week supposed to be like the best? It's a little difficult to take out though. This is the I'm From Honey Serum. I've never tried this before, but I really like the honey mask. So maybe this one is similar to that. I might try this one out. We'll see. Oh, that was a very successful advent calendar. I liked both of them and they're both skincare products. I also want to show you guys a little unboxing of the package that I got today. And I got it from Purito. I absolutely love Purito and a bunch of their products. If you guys are into skincare, probably like Purito as well. And it's a pretty hefty package. Some of the stuff I've already tried, but some of it is completely new. Like this Sika Clearing BB Cream. So I wanted to try this. It comes in a couple of different shades, but they gave me the one that's in 23 natural beige as well as 27 sand beige because I wasn't sure if natural beige would actually be a good fit for my skin tone because sometimes I wear a shade 23, but sometimes it's a little bit too bright. It's very inconsistent throughout brands. I'm glad they gave me both shades. So if my shade is in the middle of these two shades, I can mix it to make the perfect shade match. I kind of want to swatch these actually before I move on. I looked at some reviews online and apparently some people really like this especially for the lighter makeup days those are usually the days that i have nothing really planned or i'm just like gonna go to the gym 23 is the lighter one i think i squeeze out way too much oh no here it is this actually doesn't look too light oh 23 might be perfect for me can you guys see that yeah, I really like the consistency of it. Okay, maybe it's like slightly lighter, at least for my hand, but for my face, it seems like it's a good shade match. Wait, this has actually pretty good coverage. You really don't need that much. Okay, now I'm curious to see what shade 27 looks like. Oh, yes, it is a little bit darker, but this is, has a lot more of a yellow undertone, which might be good for me later on. I mean, like I have a very yellow undertone, so maybe I can add like a little bit to 23 to make it slightly more yellow. It's slightly darker than my skin tone, but I think I can use this in the summer. And the yellow undertones definitely fit my skin better. I'm excited to use this. I really like the consistency. I'll give you guys a more throw update once I've used it a couple times on my face. Next product that I haven't tried is the Dermite Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. I also got this in the advent calendar, so I guess this is like a second one of these. I can give this to a friend or donate it. I am excited to try this sleeping pack. I heard a lot of good things about it, and I heard it's very similar to a sleeping pack that I've mentioned before that I really like. That can be a little bit more expensive, so this is definitely on the more affordable side. Next, Centella and Centa Eye Cream. I remember trying this maybe right before I left for Korea, but I didn't bring it with me because I thought that I could just pick it up in Korea. Why do I need to bring it? Uh, ever since then, I kind of forgot how I felt about this eye cream, so I want to try it out again to see if I liked it. I feel like I liked everything from this Encentis Centella line, but I have to be reminded. We'll see if I enjoy this or not, but I'm going to finish up the eye cream that I'm currently using and then open this up. Next, oh, I also have these too, so I'll probably give these away, but these are the Inner Green Reusable Cotton Rounds. These are always handy to have, and it's better to use reusable cotton rounds instead of the one-time ones at least try to use these more often than the one time ones and it comes even with like this little laundry bag I have these ones specifically too and these are pretty soft for your skin I like to use it on my face makeup when I'm removing it we have the Purito AHA BHA refreshing solution I've actually never tried this before and it has 7% glycolic acid and 2% salicylic acid this is one of my favorite oils right now and I did a video on this, this is a squalene oil really good multi-purpose oil and it's very lightweight as well. Oh, I just finished using this. This is the Purio Daily Go To Sunscreen. I love this one. I also have a couple TikTok videos about this. And I also made a video about this. This is the B5 Panthenol Rebarrier Cream. Mm -hmm. 